will take you there. It's not something you muster up or do yourself. Yeah. All you have to do is get out of the way so he can move. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to pass the mic to Chelsea, my wife. She's good. Thank you, Jesus, for my beautiful wife. She's amazing. <laughs> oh. So, I'm not as good with the microphone as Josh. This is kind of my first time on the floor with me. But um, as Josh was saying, we've been seeing God move in power for the last three years. And um, for the last year, a little over a year, we've been um, going down to Portland and just ministering there to the homeless and to the youth and just people around Portland. And I just want to share a couple cool testimonies that we've seen. Um, I think one of my favorites, kind of one of our famous ones, is we were down um, at Pioneer Square. And we came across this kid who was um, texting on his cell phone. He was just sitting there texting on his cell phone. So we walked up to him and we're like, hey, can we pray for you? And he just ignores us. He's texting on the cell phone. And um, we're like, hey, can we pray for you? And he just ignores us. He's sitting there texting on his cell phone. And so finally, Josh, I think, touched his shoulder. And he's, he looks up and we're like, hey, can we pray for you? And he's like, and we're like, well, you can't talk? And he's like, he was mute. And so... We started asking him questions, and I know a little bit of sign language, and Joe was with us, and he was like, well, how long have you not been able to talk? And he's like, and we're like, two weeks? And he's like, we're like, two months? And he's like, no, we're like, two years? And he's like, so we were like, well, let's pray for you. We want to pray for you and see that get better. And he, he's like, <laughs> he kind of kisses us, like, the yeah, right, like, and so we all lay our hands on him and we start praying for him and um, nothing happens. And then we just we just keep pressing in, we pray for him again and then and then we start to leave and Josh was like, No, no, we gotta pray for you one more time and he's like <laughs> So we pray for him one last time and all of a sudden he's like <coughs> and then it hits him that he can hear his voice in his cough and he's like wow. He just gets this look like, oh my gosh. And he goes, dang. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and so we got to just share Jesus with him right there. And he's like, I want a Bible. Do you guys have a Bible? And we got some Bibles on us. And we, on. we wrote our number and stuff in, our, in the Bible for him. And he was just on fire. Just oh, like, yeah, yeah, it was awesome. And um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Come on. So we we also have been ministering to some gang kids around the area, around the Lloyd Center area, like Holiday Park area. And um, at first it was pretty hard to get breakthrough with them, and we just kept trying. And and one night I remember we were getting ready to leave, walk back to the car, and we came across a huge group of them. Oh, and me yeah. and Joe, we were trying to hurry back home because we had a babysitter and we were trying to get back, you know, on time. And so we were, like, kind of running past them. Well, all of a sudden, Josh stops, and me and Joe get pushed backwards. And we're like, what was that? It was like the power of God just pushed us backwards at the same time. And I never really experienced anything like that. And I was just like, what was that? So... Josh is like, we need to pray for these guys. So he walks up and he's like, hey, excuse me, everybody. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So there's this huge group of them standing there, and they're like, they're like, what do you want, you know? And Josh is like, well, we just we were out praying for people, and we want to know if we could pray for you guys for anything. And they they start laughing at us. They're like, yeah, right. And um, Josh is like, well, do you guys have any pain in your body? And they were like, well, yeah. I go, my back hurts, and they start laughing. What is Jesus going to heal it? And we're like, yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so we start praying, and while we're praying, they're mocking us, and they're laughing, and they're kind of repeating our prayer, and mocking it. And all of a sudden, the guy goes, "Whoa! It's this is real. It's better. It's actually better." He starts moving around. He's like, "Wow!" And so the next guy's like, "Hey, my leg hurts. Pray for my leg." <laughs> We basically went through the group and prayed for every single one of them that had an injury. And I think all of them but one um, got healed. I think one of them was like, oh, this doesn't work, and he kind of walked off. 
But every, I think like six people got healed, six teens. Wow. Yeah. And so, <laughs> so the next time we, we went to the park there, um, we ran into the same group of kids again. <laughs> And um, they actually ran up to us, and they were like, hey, my friend hurt his leg, can you pray? <laughs> so, so we got to pray over them, and then we got a whole group of them around us, and we're just sharing the gospel, and just sharing about the kingdom, and about Jesus, and some of them gave their lives to the Lord right there, and it's just been really cool ministering to that group of kids, and some of them are really passionate now. Come on. And um, I guess the last testimony I want to leave you with is... Um, we were, I was um, walking on, down in Holiday Park, and we came across two girls on, sitting on a bench. And um, we were like, hey, can we pray for you guys? And, and the girls were like, no, we're okay, we're just waiting for somebody. And the other girl was like, yeah, I've, I've been walking all day, and my feet are just killing me. And I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> so, I was like, can I pray for your feet to get better? And she's like, sure. So we, I'm praying for her feet to get better, and she's like, oh, wow, they really don't hurt anymore. And the other girl was like, you're kidding me. She's like, no, you're, you're joking with me. They, they still hurt. And she's like, no, they don't hurt at all. And she's like, no way. And so we're like, you know, God can touch you too. Do you want God to touch you? And she's like, okay. You know, so we put our hands on her and we start praying for God's presence to come upon her. And all of a sudden she's like, oh, whoa. And she looks behind her and she's like, were you standing behind me? Did you put your hand on me? And we're like, no, we didn't. And, and she's like, somebody put their hand on me. And I was just feeling this weird. And we're like, that's God's presence. <laughs> you know, and it's probably an angel. And she's just sitting like, blown away. And uh, both of them ended up giving their lives to the Lord right there and just like wow. on fire and changed their world view. So. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Woo! to the gang members all by herself. Mm -hmm. There have been times that the guys are doing whatever they're doing and Chelsea's like, hey, I see those kids. And she's in the middle of them, this little, petite, beautiful <laughs> blonde in the middle of a bunch of gang bangers without any fear. And you know what? They respond to that. So she's being humble because this is stuff that she does by herself or with another gal or whatever. So... You know, you don't have to be with the big tough guy <laughs> to do the work of the gospel. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because you can look like this and get it done. Come on. Woo! Yeah. Okay, one more. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Um, let's see, which one? <laughs> One time we were uh, standing by the back station and there was a girl standing there and um, she I went up and asked her if I could pray for her and she's like, oh, you, you know, I'm just, I'm, my back's hurting and I'm waiting for the max. So I was like, well, can I just pray for your back to stop hurting? And she's like, okay. So I said, all of a sudden I got like a word and I was like, is one leg shorter than the other? And she's like, yeah, actually. So I was like, well, can you sit down? And so she sat down for me, and I, I held her legs out, and they were like this much shorter. One was this much shorter than the other one. And so I, I put her legs together, and I said, in Jesus' name, legs be the same. And all of a sudden, it was just exactly the same. And she got up, and she's like, wow, I have no back pain at all. Come on. Like, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I guess one last thing to share with you guys is just the power of God's love because the first couple times we went out to the street, I was like really scared. <laughs> and Josh is a lot more bold than me. And um, I, I just remember sitting with the homeless people and just sitting with the kids, the street kids, and, and just crying out. When I got home, I'd just cry out to God and I'd say, God, they need you. They need love. They just need they need more than, I, than I'm filled with. And so 
as we just went home and we just cried out to God and just got saturated in His presence and just like really soaked in the love of God, His love started shining out from us. And so that's really what it's all about. It's it's not about the miracles and it's just really about seeing His face and getting transformed by His love and, wow. and just yeah. seeing His light and letting His light flow through you and just oh, just seeing how it touches everybody around you. It's amazing. Amen. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.